like about it. So, kind of add to the vlog today to do that. Uh Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another vlog, and uh, gonna be doing these for the next couple days uh, since I'm out here. But um, wrapping that up, that is um, actually. I need to double check that before I render it. I was up at like four or five o'clock this morning, um, just still running on East Coast time. But um, here's the studio. Um, I really didn't uh, just show a whole lot as I was uh, talking last night. Um, but a lot has changed since I've been here the last time. There was a lot more going on over there and they didn't have as many stations set up um, for guys to edit and help with the production and all sorts of stuff, but this, it just, like every time I come out, I just, in awe, and of course it's changed a whole lot since I was here last time, but, oh, the mecca of cameras, cameras, z, z, <laughs> and, and, and lenses, oh, 24 mil, gorgeous, everything is organized, they're organized for them. They, you know, they understand. <laughs> but uh, I might get to mess around with that today. I'm a little afraid. I'm actually very afraid. Extremely afraid <laughs> to touch that thing. So, but John's like, don't be afraid of it. You got to try it out. And I would never be able to afford anything like that um, or would want to unless uh, I got heavily into, you know, in my opinion, you know, other work and, you know, more professional but just amazing seeing, you know, what a full production looks like and uh, what the guys do uh, on a daily basis. Um, I watched a couple videos being worked on last night, which was fun. And uh, it's cool. It's just lots of cool stuff sitting around here and I'm just kind of picking up and playing with... Ooh, brightness. There we go. Picking up uh, lots of cool things around here, just trying them out. And uh, it's pretty cool having that ability to be able to do that. And uh, it takes a lot of work to get to where this is. I mean, this is many, many years in the making. So um, that's it so far. I'm waiting for everybody to come in. Gonna render that and put that up. Gotta make a thumbnail for it. And uh, that's it. All right. Going to work. Sync clap. Sync clap. I don't think we need that with this. I'm not using any external audio. I mean, I could. But... Yeah. Crispy. <laughs> Looks like a donut. Right. That's How, kind of the idea. Can I ask okay. what Crispy Media is? You, you don't know who Crispy Media is? No. I touch iPods? Remember Chris? Wait, that's what? Really? You remember him? Yes. Yeah, his nickname because his last name is Petrucci. He's Chris P. So people would call him Chris P. So he uh, just went to Chris Crispy. So they are setting up shop here. Deciding what he's gonna do. Working hard. Ralphie. No. Doug Drummond. <laughs> Doug Drummond. Doug Drummond's brother. <laughs> you my shot man? What's that? Dude! It's rugged too. That's the inadvertent drop test. Now one thing I don't normally test out with speakers, maybe I should, is the range. Range is very important. So, we're gonna start that today. Ralphie getting some of that sweet B-roll. Good. That's the street when MTP bumps your elbow. I ain't nowhere near you, pal. It's all good. <laughs> Staying away from the elbows. What? So they're setting up a shot for the uh, speaker. Now this is an ultimate ear speaker. I have a couple of their, um, the bigger speakers, and they things are awesome. And I was messing around with that a little bit at the office this morning when I was editing and stuff. 
sounds really good for a small speaker. Very, very cool. Nitpick, it might be cool if you saw the color of your headphones on this icon, but regardless, it's still very, very cool. All right, we're back. Mm -hmm. See smiling at her. Married, not dead. <laughs> Next is actually hitting right here in the Fist of Fury. If you have any guesses, drop a comment down. Why do you always gotta make it perverted, man? What? You can say fist without it being perverted. I'm not being perverted. I'm just, when I'm looking at me, not looking at oh, you, I'm going, what's he talking about? What? That was the Dom Esposito smirk and point going on there. And Dom took that from me. <laughs> Get that on camera. I did. <laughs> Should we leave that in the vlog? Coming at you, Dom. Dom doesn't watch these. Editing process. Today. That today. Start that today. So we're starting up the podcast again. I have been going nuts trying to figure out how to add it to iTunes. I just could not figure it out through Squarespace. Finally got it today. So it is in for review. So I'm super excited. That is done. One more thing. I know some people did not want to use Podbean um, to download and then have to sign up. Most people are already using iTunes. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Editing this disaster already. That's not a disaster. I need to make it tech examined quality. <laughs> well, then you're good to go. Go ahead and post that right now. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we're in the second spot right now, and they're getting up a, setting up a shot. And let me tell you, man, just like realizing some of the stuff that you could use to make just that next level content. John's got this light, and this is a Westcott. Westcott. And now this was in, you showed this in one of the videos. You had this in a, one of the other lights that you showed in, the, in one of your videos. But this thing just, it's got a completely flexible, LED panel in it and then you've got the soft box over top of it which allows it to spread the light out in a more even uh, not as harsh what's that Softer. yeah well wait that's the, why it's a soft box but that for people who don't understand what a soft box is that's that's the point of it of course here's the uh, the X desk that uh, they had made from um, oh, what's this What's his site called again? Four Eyes Furniture. Four Eyes Furniture, that's right. I watch his vlogs, I should videos I should know. But this thing just looks badass in person. Absolutely awesome. So clean. This thing is just totally next level. Allows you to get some crazy shots. It actually it's got got like a uh, like a weighted system, I guess, or like a shock system that allows you to easily you know, move it up and down, and then you've got the uh, the single piece slide out here, which you can get some pretty cool shots. I mean, that's, look at that thing. It's just massive, but it's so easy to move around. Not to see it in action if Rich sets it up a little bit. I mean, compared to the lighting that you just had when I started the vlog, to that right now is amazing. And you know, it's so it's so even because you know, obviously, the soft box is John so lovingly pointed out to me. But, you know, it's just, it's so, I mean, it's it's bright. I mean, if you didn't have, if you didn't have it on this, just how bright that is. It's 
so cool. Such a cool uh, option to have. It's also cool seeing like, you know, the behind the scenes of how everything works and um, just how things have changed since the last time I was here and seeing how they get the videos done and whatnot and just what goes into creating a video. You know, even if it's just something as simple as the, you know, the product stuff today. I'm um, going through the accessories for the iPhone 10, but very neat. And then Rich bringing in yet more. Oh, that's a monitor, isn't it? Yeah, it's a monitor. I thought that was a light for a second there. Rich is like, yeah, I, I do this every day. <laughs> it's, it's not sweet anymore. The first, uh, first month I was here, I was like in shock of everything. Yeah, and then you were like, yeah, uh huh, this, this is, this, you're gonna move this crap around like all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> From one room to the next, <laughs> back and forth. Austin Bar is it, you gotta take it to his. Yeah. Did you focus on your time? Lots of stuff. <laughs> Her? Yo guys, Jonathan here, and today, if you just picked up a brand new iPhone 10, and I'm kicking it off with one of the questions I get asked uh, very frequently, and that is, what is the best wireless charger? Make me so nervous, Mike. Really? I'm making you nervous. So nervous. <laughs> Look at that. This is hard, man. Let the tech exam in the studio. Getting some product shots here. Oh no, man, that is clean. Clean. And crispy. With a K. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty intimidating. <laughs> they're not they're not here right now. <laughs> but man, listen to John do the headshots and, and talk about, you know, each product and stuff like that. Just going back and back and you know, rewording and figuring out how he wants to phrase things was really cool. But seeing this and uh and you know doing the product shots I realize like what goes into setting up, um, you know, the shots behind you, and it gives me a real perspective on thinking about how I would want to set up a shot, and how you know take that back to what I'm doing, and seeing if I can get better at it, and realizing um, just how important lighting is uh, when you're looking at a shot. Which I mean, I've always tried to you know to to do the lighting well. It really all depends on your style. I don't want to like go back and like do the exact same thing, you know. I mean, I, I understand, you know, when you're doing headshots and, and product shots, it, you know, it's, it's important to be able to make sure you've got enough light on the product. But it's just neat seeing, like, all of what they use to get a shot. Like I showed you that, um, all the, you know how he was bouncing the light off um, with the one panel, and then he used the other one just as a little bit of a filler. Um, to kind of fill in his face and you'll see it when the when the video comes out I'll I'll link it here and uh, it'll be something cool to, to see like the finished product it's very very neat and I think they're doing some product shots here and I don't know if he's gonna be using any pan shots or anything like that but I'll show you how that works uh, if, if they're gonna do it like that but they're setting that up now that does look spiffy look at it beautiful Perfect. That's awesome. Are you roll? Yeah. If I just let you control focus. It does. Oh, it does? Not well, though. Yeah. It only works on autofocus lenses. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Roll? Uh, I think there's a weird delay. Oh, no. Well, you said you would, if you're going to put some text in there, would you, would you put any text in the thumbnail? No. So you don't normally do that. Too small, huh? It's just kind of getting lost down there. I like it there. Yeah, you're right. That's fine. I'm gonna roll it over enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Alright, so that was an interesting day today. <laughs> um, lots planned tomorrow. 
So that about does it for me. Um, it's like 9.30 right now. And uh, I'm gonna start editing this and then hit the hay. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're stopping by for the first time, hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for the support. You have a good one and talk to you later.